also a really exciting day here at Games You Loved. We have received our backer copies and poster for the NES Famicom Visual Compendium. Now this is from Bitmap Books you may be familiar with. Um, they've got a range of books already on the Commodore 64, Amiga and Spectrum. And this is a Kickstarter which was funded last year. Um, you can see there we've got the uh, very cool looking Famicom and NES posters, beautifully uh, produced and designed, uh, got uh, gold and silver printing and unwrapping what the back has got now is a real package because they smashed their uh, goals there so we've got, uh, these are the extra um, pieces that we asked for and ordered uh, which is these very nice glitch postcards, they come in a sort of NES style um, cartridge pack you can see there and there's absolutely loads of them, um, all different games, all different kind of glitch scenarios which uh, was, uh, if you're familiar with the NES you'll be familiar with that very nice sort of little keepsake and um, put it in the case there, you put that up in your shelf and in your collection a uh, nice cool little um, sticker there, the uh, uh, Famicom fans will be familiar with that it's really nice to get a CD, you don't really get CDs perhaps as much these days and this is um, the Psychosomatic Generation from Chibi Tech, we'll be playing that later but the PS de la Resistance, I suppose, is the book. Now, this is a mammoth beast, and I really mean that. Um, you've got uh, well over, I think it's 500 odd pages there, and uh, Bitmap Books really set out to produce um, really a kind of a nod and a respect to Nintendo's um, history of the NES, um, showing off all the graphics and catalogue of the iconic games. Uh, which played a big part of their history, I'm just unwrapping it now. It's very, very well wrapped, this um, product. Obviously, um, you can see there with the bubble wrap, the carved wrap, um, and it has to be because, you know, this is a lovely slipcase item. As you can see there, it's got a lenticular cover, which was one of the stretch goals um, that came up in the Kickstarter, which means everybody gets this. This is not just for, um, you know, certain people who are backing at certain amounts. Everybody who orders the uh, hardback book there which we've got will get the slipcase there and it's just beautiful it will go up on the shelf with pride along with the other books that they have and other gaming books we have and uh, yeah you can see it having to sort of hold it up there it's just so heavy I don't know the exact weight of it but it is a it's pretty heavy um, pretty heavy there so I'm not going to go through every page obviously uh, I want you to enjoy it for yourself but I'm just going to take through a few um, choice pages, there's the back cover there, nice little thank you, obviously um, we uh, helped get the word out of this um, book but with many many other people in the gaming community and press and Kickstarter kind of backers and just everybody really got behind this book and um, I think we got what we deserved, it's a fantastic um, tribute to the NES and Famicom um, before I even open it up I can see the care that's gone into the actual um, production of this book, it really is a, a beauty, so just open it up there, lovely um, opening spread you've got there, and real icons now getting into, obviously Rob the robot, and it starts off chronologically, so the game start at the very beginning um, from 1982, sorry 83, get that straight, um, and yeah, you go obviously through from Donkey Kong, Ghost and Goblins, beautiful artwork, Jaws, the Mario Brothers, um, the early Mario Brothers game, not the first appearance of Mario, obviously we know that of Donkey Kong. Uh, Rad Racer, we've got that game. Um, this is an interesting spread. I'm going to kind of open this one up. You can see there it kind of opens once and then opens again. So, yeah, that is amazing. Look at that sort of scene that you're getting there. It's um, Mike Tyson's Punch Out uh, NES game which is a bit of a legend amongst uh, retro games and uh, yeah, some great um, pixel art there. So just taking you through the book uh, now, I'm going to come up to, we actually had a game review ourselves. Um, didn't go perhaps for the straight obvious um, game, we went for uh, the game Double Dragon 2. So um, yeah, that game um, was uh, an NES game I kind of got first after um, playing it in the arcade, I didn't actually get Double Dragon 1, uh, funnily enough, I got uh, 2, so yeah, it's quite um, nostalgic to me, 
um, and the guys across the team. Some of them had an NES in the 80s, a couple of guys, but mainly came later because we were in the UK. So um, in the US, obviously, a lot more popular. And we're just one of the many contributors. There's people like, um, let's think, David Crane from Activision. We've got um, also people like uh, Julian Rignall, very well known journalists. A whole range of musicians, contributors. Uh, got world record holders for certain games, people from modern gaming, IGN, um, Kevin Bayliss there, who's an um, artist for um, ukulele now, actually, but from Rare. So, yeah, look at the artwork, you know, throughout. We've got fan art, there's actual art from the games, some nice photography, um, and quotes from certain people, again, contributors, um, 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 just so many, really. Um, yeah, it's just look at that book, it's just beautiful. We're not going to flick through every page because it's going to spoil it for everybody. I just wanted to give you an overview and uh, yeah, go out and buy it. It's just uh, great for your collection. It gives you ideas of what games to play if you haven't as well. I always find that with these compendiums. So yeah, enjoy, happy gaming, and uh, see you out there, guys.